Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to grow a YouTube channel fast, including one unique method that you're not going to find anywhere else. And this method will work for you regardless of how many subscribers you already have. So if you have a lot of subscribers, it'll work. If you have very few subscribers, it'll work. Or if you haven't even started your channel yet, then, then that's actually the perfect time to learn this because you can get started a whole lot faster than you would otherwise. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chris Shoup and I help people to be free, including being free financially. So if you'd like to have more freedom in your life, then you've come to the right place. Now, before we get started, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, why should I listen to you? You only have 4,000 subscribers. Why shouldn't I listen to somebody with a million subscribers? And there are two reasons why I think this will benefit you. Number one is that growing a small channel is very different than growing a big channel. And what I'm gonna show you is especially effective for growing a small channel because what happens when you're a small channel is that YouTube doesn't really recognize you yet. They don't, they barely even know that you exist. They don't send traffic your way. And so it's really difficult for you to use the algorithm to your benefit. Whereas if you're a big channel, then YouTube already knows that you exist and they send you a whole bunch of traffic. You, you get rated well in the algorithm. Uh, and so it's, it's a lot more difficult to launch when you're a smaller channel. And this way is gonna work really well if you're a smaller channel. And then the second reason is that I only just figured this out. This, this method that I'm gonna show you, the, the unique method that I'm gonna show you here is something that I only found out about a month and a half ago. And since figuring this out, it has more than doubled my growth rate on YouTube. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, there are basically three ways to grow on YouTube. There are three kind of categories that all of the YouTube growth strategies are gonna fall into. Number one is use the algorithm. This is to optimize your keywords and, and make better thumbnails and get people to click through more, that kind of thing, so that YouTube will push your videos to more people. Then the second is manual promotion. This is where you spam the internet basically with links to your videos or links to your channel. And then the third is automated promotion. This is where you have a computer doing all of your promotion for you. Now, if you watch the other YouTube tutorials that are out there, and I've watched a lot of them, Right When I was starting my YouTube channel, I watched every YouTube tutorial I could get my hands on, and most of them are talking about number one here, about how to use the algorithm. A few of them are talking about number two, and precisely none of them are talking about number three. This is something that I figured out all, all on my own, and so that's gonna be the focus of what I have to say here. I'm gonna focus more on number three. I will go over what number one and two entail, but you can find a whole bunch of other videos that are on those, so I'm gonna focus mostly on number three here. Now, first I'm gonna give you a quick summary of number one, use the algorithm. And all of these strategies work, by the way. I think that number three is by far the best, especially if you're a new channel or you're a smaller channel that has less than, let's say, 50,000 subscribers, then number three is by far the best. However, number one and two still work. So I'm gonna go over those kind of high level here. So number one is to use the algorithm. That means that you want YouTube to show your videos to people who don't already know who you are. Right, you want YouTube to show your videos in that sidebar, in the uh, up next video and in the suggested videos. You want YouTube to show your videos when somebody types something in the search bar. Uh, you, want, you want to get your videos into people's notifications as suggested videos, that kind of thing. And so YouTube has this algorithm that will determine what videos they're gonna show to what people. And like I said, the algorithm heavily favors big channels, channels that already have a lot of subscribers, but that doesn't mean that you can't get into the algorithm, that you can't get views from it. You'll get a few if you do it right. And so basically there are three factors that, the, that affect how you do in the algorithm. They are click-through rate, watch time, and keywords. So what the click-through rate is, is how many people see your video and click on it. Of the people who see your video, that is how many, what percentage of them click on it. That's the click-through rate. YouTube likes this because it shows that people are interested in what you have to say. The next is watch time. So of the people who start watching your video, how far do they watch into the video? The, the further they watch into the video, the more interested they are in the video, and so YouTube takes that as a sign that's a higher quality video. And then the last is keywords. So this is how do your videos relate to a search or to other videos? So if I type in the search bar, how to grow a YouTube channel, 
then what I'm gonna get is videos that have keywords in the title similar to how to grow a YouTube video and also have keywords in the description and in the tags that say something similar to how to grow a YouTube channel. So there are a few basic ways that you can optimize these three factors and therefore get shown better in the algorithm. So the first is to optimize your click-through rate. What that means is to make your title and make your thumbnails attractive so that people want to click on them. So the, the more pretty they are, the more they stand out, the bigger your promise that you give in the thumbnail or in the title, the more likely people are to click on them and the better your click-through rate's gonna be. Now to optimize your watch time, that just means that you wanna have engaging content. So at the beginning of your video, tell the person exactly what they're gonna get from the video so they don't just click off of it, so they continue watching it. And then the better your content is, if you don't bore people, if you keep people interested, then they keep watching, and so you get rated better on the watch time, you do better on the algorithm. And then the last factor is the keywords. These are the, the keywords that you use for your title and for your description. You, whatever keyword, you wanna choose a keyword, first of all, that one, people are searching for, and two, doesn't have a whole lot of competition. So if I make my keyword, how to start a YouTube channel, and there's 10,000 other videos with the same keyword, uh, and most of those are bigger channels than mine, then it's gonna make it very difficult for me to compete, right? And by the same token, if I choose a really weird uh, keyword, like how to grow a YouTube channel really fast in uh, October of 2020 in Tampa, Florida, well, chances are almost nobody is gonna be searching for that, so I might rank number one for that keyword, but it doesn't really do me any good because nobody is searching that keyword. So the sweet spot is to find a keyword that people are actually searching for, but that hardly anybody has made videos using that keyword. So that's basically it for the algorithm strategy. I went over that in like two minutes and saved you like three hours of watching tutorials about how to do this. Obviously you can go more in depth than this and this becomes a lot more relevant, like I said, when you have a big channel. Uh, but this, this is good strategy because for one thing, it snowballs with time. The, the better you get at this now, the more exponential growth you're gonna get into the future. And it's also free, you don't have to pay anything in order to implement this strategy. Now, the, the downside of this is it takes a long time. Like, it takes literally years of, of playing this strategy before the point where you can make a decent income from this, before you get to the point where you get to that, like, 10,000 followers, let's say. It takes a very long time. But that doesn't mean it's, it's not a good strategy, it just means you have to have a lot of patience. Okay, so let's get into number two, which is manual promotion. Manual promotion basically just means that you are sharing your video links everywhere you possibly can. So maybe you're sharing on Facebook, you're sharing on Pinterest, you're sharing on Instagram. Um, you, you put your video link in your Instagram bio and you, you, you put your video link in your Facebook bio and you're sharing in groups and you're sharing with your friends. And then another strategy that people do a lot is they will post on popular channels, whenever they just put up a new video, they'll type in a comment as fast as they possibly can, and then since it's the first comment, it's, it's likely to get upvoted the most, and it will be shown on that channel, and so some of the people who see that comment will click on your channel, will watch your videos, and, and will subscribe to you, so people do that as well. And then another thing you can do is just tell everybody you come across that you're a YouTuber. Just, you know, when people ask what you do or whatever, just say, hey, I'm a YouTuber, check me out, here's my business card that has my YouTube link, or, you know, uh, type in this, this, and this in your phone, and then my video will come up. And so you can just tell people face to face. Now, this strategy, the good things about this strategy are that one, it, it's free, it doesn't cost anything, and two, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. But the, the really big downside to doing the manual promotion is it takes a lot of effort takes a lot of your time, and usually it just doesn't get you very much results, right? You can get a few people here and there, but you don't get very much. So frankly, I, I don't even recommend that you waste your time with number two. I mean, unless you have some really clever way of doing it. Okay, now let's get into number three, which is, which is the, the unique part of this video that you're not gonna find anywhere else, and that is the automated promotion. This is something I figured out by myself just about a month and a half or two months ago. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how that works. Now this is, th this is a particular method, uh, and you could probably come up with other ways to do this, but my method, 
I call the get paid first strategy because whereas normally if you're doing doing one or two here, uh, the idea is that you you spend a whole lot of time and effort growing your YouTube channel and then at a certain point your, your channel gets to a certain size and you, you finally start making money off of it once it gets to a certain size. And so what I'm doing with this get paid first strategy is I turn that on its head. So you're actually getting paid to build your channel. You're getting paid now as you're building your channel. So that's why I call this the get paid first method. Now, how this works is that you're gonna use advertising to drive people to your channel. You're gonna drive people to view your channel and subscribe to your channel. And then you are going to sell something to those people that you've driven to your channel and the money you make from those sales are gonna cover your ad costs. And if you do it right, then you can actually end up with a lot of money left over after you've paid your ad costs. And so you can keep advertising bigger and bigger and bigger and make this, this strategy work better and better and, and speed up your growth exponentially. So to get a little bit more specific on this, and I'm not gonna go into super detail here because it's kinda of gonna take a long time to cover, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna run an ad that's targeted to people who would be interested in your channel. You're gonna run an ad saying, hey, there's a free training that I'm doing. Uh, sign up here for the free training. Then once they sign up for your free training, then you're gonna do your free training over YouTube Live. And then they're gonna get the chance to subscribe to you. At the end of your free training, you're gonna sell something, you're gonna make an offer for something, and it could be your own product, or it could be somebody else's product that you get a commission on. I'm gonna show you, it's really, really easy to find those products that, that you can sell and you can get a commission on. So basically, it's a four-step process here. You run an ad, you get the person to sign up, you do your YouTube live training, and the training has to be good, by the way. That's, that's kind of the linchpin of this whole thing. It has to be something that people really wanna learn, and then when you actually do the training, you really wanna deliver. So if you are an expert in something, uh, if that's the reason that you wanna have a YouTube channel, is to be able to share your knowledge about something, um, then this is gonna work really well for you because you can do a really great training that people are really gonna like. And then at the very end of the training, after you've given them a lot of valuable information for free, that's when you're gonna make your pitch. That's when you're going to try to sell something, which is actually really easy to do when you're doing it over YouTube Live. Now this, in my opinion, is by far the best method to grow on YouTube for a few reasons. Number one is that you can grow really fast. Even if you have no following at all, if, Go if YouTube doesn't even know you exist, if you just can't use the algorithm very well yet because your channel is so small, you have full control over how fast you grow. And then at the same time, you have the opportunity to actually make a lot of money doing this. The very first week that I did this strategy, the very first week I made $5,000 and I spent uh, about $300. So I, I made in profit $4,700 doing this strategy. And how much money you end up with is gonna depend on what your product is uh, and, and some other factors. So but it's definitely gonna cover your ad costs and probably will make you a substantial amount of money on top of your ad costs. So you're growing your channel for free and you're getting paid on top of it. Now the other thing about this is it's totally scalable. If you are able to make back 100% of your ad cost, whether or not you make money on top of it, if you can at least make back 100% of your ad cost, that means that you can scale your ads as much as you want. You can put your ads to 10 times the level they were before, because you know you're gonna get all that money back, and so you get 10 times the subscriber growth, or 20 times, or 100 times. I mean, you do, you do eventually reach a limit because there's only so many ads that you can run, but this is very highly scalable. So if it works on a small scale, then you can put more money into it, you'll get all that money back anyway, and you get a whole bunch of extra subscribers. And you can repeat this as many times as you want. This also, by the way, it helps the algorithm, right? Because if you get people who are targeted, who are interested in your training, and they start watching your videos, they're gonna have a higher level of interest than the average person. They're gonna, they're gonna increase your watch time, right? Because they're going to watch longer 
than the average person would, uh, they're going to be more likely to click on your links. And so your, all of your statistics that are going into how you ranked in the algorithm are going to make you look better. It's going to make your channel bigger. It's going to make YouTube recognize you. So you're going to grow, grow with this method. And then you're going to grow with this method as well, just as kind of a, a knock on benefit from this method. And this will work for just about any kind of topic or niche uh, you could think of for whatever your YouTube channel happens to be about. So let's say that you have a gaming channel, for example, um, where people watch you play video games. Well, you could think about how you could do a special training for people that would like your channel. Notice that you don't have to appeal to the people who are following your channel already. You just have to appeal to people who are likely to like your channel. So if you have a, a, a training about how to uh, play video games better or how to get paid for playing video games or how to get free sponsorships or how to choose the best games or you know anything like that, uh, and then at the end of your, your presentation, you can say, hey, by the way, these are the games that I recommend you buy. And then you get a, a commission from that or you say, uh, here's a tutorial that I, I put together that costs X amount of money for how to get paid for playing video games. You can sell that. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of possibilities there. For, or if you have some kind of advice channel, like you have dating advice or weight loss advice or how to make money advice or how to, how to advance in your career advice, that kind of thing, you can have a product where you're packaging up your advice. You can give away some of your advice for free um, as the, the free training. And, and, you know, it's really easy to structure that one. Or let's say that you have a, a makeup channel where you do makeup tutorials, right? That, that way you could uh, have a training on, on how to do your makeup. You know, <laughs> you can tell I don't know much about makeup. And at the end, you can have a, a package about how to do makeup. Or you could have a, a package where you uh, sell a particular makeup product, right? Or even if you have a local business, like you're a chiropractor or something, then you could have a, a training about how to correct back pain or, or how to improve your posture. And then at the end, you could have a package about how to improve your posture or you could have a, a exercise machine that you sell. You know, there's a whole bunch of possibilities here that they all work. So this works for just about any niche that you can think of. Now, if this is something that you would like to pursue, if you would like to learn more about this strategy, I realize that I just went over it very high level. I didn't really give you much in the way of details of how to do this. But if you're interested in this, then I'm actually, I'm considering doing a free training about how to do this, about how to do this automated promotion strategy. So if that's something that would be of interest to you, then uh, I will put a link in the description below where you can sign up for that free training. Now, this is gonna be something that's live. Uh, I don't have a date set yet for it. I, it's, it's pretty much just kind of an idea at this stage. But if that's something that you would like to be notified about when it's ready, then sign up at the link below and I will send you an email when, when I have all the details. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, I'd much appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up icon because that helps me with the YouTube algorithm because they're looking for your, your ratio of likes to dislikes and likes to views and all that stuff. I uh, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button if you want to get a whole lot of awesome content just like this about how to be free in every way in your life. Uh, share this video if you think it'd be helpful for somebody else. Leave me a comment uh, if you have any questions or you'd like to tell me that you loved my video or hated my video or whatever you got. And then if you want to see more, you might also like this video about one five-minute exercise that could totally change your life. So check that out if it's something that interests you. I'll talk to you next time.